Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna design some hats for Gorilla Tag and actually put them in Gorilla Tag. I don't know if the part where I actually have them in Gorilla Tag is gonna work because I've never tried making a hat and making it into an actual Gorilla Tag hat that you can wear. But we're gonna try. I think the first thing we're gonna have is like a propeller. I forgot the name. I'll, I'll, I'll set the name on the screen right now. But I think we're gonna do something like that. So what I'm first doing is making the stick for for the propeller. And how I do that is just kill this cube I just made up. And boom, we have our beautiful stick where the propeller can be on. So now we got the stick. Now we only need to like actually make the propeller blades. I still don't think propeller is right, but I don't care. I'm just gonna call it a propeller. So I search it up and I think it's called pinwheel. Or it's pinwheel or Google is lying to me and I don't think Google is going to lie to me. So I found out how you can get an image in Blender. So I think I'm gonna use that. So what I tried to do was kind of like fold the object like a paper in this time lapse. But I don't think Blender likes that really much or I have no idea how to do that. So there's some really weird things came out as you can see. I tried okay. Let me try a different strategy. <laughs> So, like I said before, I want to fold the paper like if you want to make one in real life. But that didn't work out. So what I went ahead and did was just cut the shape out. And this is gonna work much better. So, now that we made this, we need to copy and paste it to all sides. So, in this time lapse, I'll show you how I did it. But now there's one problem, as you can see here, it like goes around and in the middle. But we don't have that, ours is just flat and boring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one off and we're gonna, gonna design that part. So what I did in this time lapse was I just cut a piece out and extruded it so it looks like it was just folded around. You know what I find funny? I'm doing all these things and saying it, what I'm doing. But I think probably half of you guys don't even know what's happening. Okay, now this looks way more like the actual thing, but now it just misses one thing, and that's color. It's just white, boring, it of course needs some color. So let's color it in. Okay, so that's the windmill done, but do we just want a regular windmill? Of course not. So my plan is to put it into a banana. That's what I'm gonna try to do. But it's probably gonna be really hard making a banana. I actually found a better banana peel, so let's use this one instead. So what I'm gonna start with is just a quick cube. And I'm gonna make it around the same size as the banana, of course. Okay, so that's our basic shape for the banana, but it still doesn't have a peel around it. So that's what I'm gonna make right now. To make the peel, I'm just gonna really easy copy and paste this, make it a bit bigger. And just place it around the banana. So there's a bigger banana surrounding a smaller banana. You can't really see it, but smaller bananas there. So what I'm planning to do with this bigger banana is just just simply to cut the top part off and now if we go back to here you see we have a banana we have a bottom half of the banana peel now we need to make the peel like go around it
Okay, so now here we got our banana. And we're just gonna make it the same color as this because it's easier. And now we also need to make one for this that is a li really light yellow. So what we're gonna do is like do it a bit over there and boom. That's already good enough. But now I made this banana for one reason and one reason only. To put this in here. So I'm also just gonna quickly join these things together and put it inside of the banana because and i thought this was gonna be cool but this just doesn't feel right like just putting it in there so what i'm gonna do with this banana is i'm also gonna copy this for a future project i know we have a lot of copies of the banana but it's necessary and what i'm just gonna do is go in edit mode and i'm just gonna chop the top off and the top is cut off but now there's this giant hole so i quickly have to fix that and now we can just put this in the banana and perfect perfect new cosmetic why did i do this this is so stupid well uh if you want to have this cosmetic it costs uh, if you want to has have this cosmetic it costs uh, uh 10 000 shiny rocks Okay, but the next idea I had was a pool floaty. So let's quickly make one. This looks like a donut, but a pool floaty is basically a donut. But why I saved these was for a reason. You know, most pool floaties have unicorns. Nah, we have bananas. But we can't just make it a solid color. That just isn't correct. So we're gonna go and paint best software to do things in. And we're gonna make... This is way too big. Okay, 500 by 500, good enough. And we're gonna make just a bunch of bananas. I have no idea how to do like big sword or any of that, so... Okay, that, li that is just a perfect banana, right? No banana can match that, that banana. Okay, let's zoom in to add some detail. Because why not? Okay, perfect. Banana is done. Now what we just have to do is select it and copy and paste it a bunch. Okay, so this is our texture. Let's save it. Here is our banana pool floaty. Perfect. And now, when you are on the beach, what do you need? You need a phone to call. I don't know, to call someone. Okay, perfect. Want to order banana? Click here. Okay, I think this is what monkeys watch and... Yeah, banana phone. And then of course, just a normal banana you can hold in your hand, because why not, right? So I personally think out they turned out pretty well. Let me know in the comments what you guys give these cosmetics out of 10. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.